Digi002 Rack is a uh, one of the LE system audio interfaces. Uh, these are really cool systems to get right now because they're not the newest of the LE line. The 003 just came out. The 003 uh, sort of took over the price point. So now these are less expensive to get, but they're still really great units. So now let me take you on a little bit of a, a guided tour of the 002 just to familiarize, um, familiarize ourselves with what this box is about and what it does. Now essentially the 002, uh, the M-Box, the 003, 001, all of them are just a way to get signal into the computer and out of the computer. So basically it's a place to plug in your microphone and plug in your speaker so that you can uh, hear what you're doing. And uh, the 002, it's easier to see this when we look at the back, uh, the 002 comes equipped uh, out of the box with uh, 18 total inputs. The 18 total inputs uh, consist of four inputs that are microphone or line level, and that is selectable on the front of the box, whether you're in mic or line. Uh, the microphone or line level is switchable on the front of the device. You can switch between whether you're feeding in uh, the low level microphone signal from a dynamic or condenser or ribbon microphone. Uh, you have 48 volts uh, phantom power selectable here in banks of two for channels one and two and three and four. Or if you're in line level, that's for the hotter signals like what's coming off of if you're using an external mic preamp or if you're uh, coming in with some sort of other line level device. Channels five through eight are line level only. And those can be found here and they are selectable in individual sets as plus four or minus 10 input. Plus four being the professional line level signal for uh, higher end devices and minus 10 being more consumer level if you're dealing with uh, keyboards and CD players and that type of thing. The second group of eight channels comes in through a fiber optic connector. And the fiber optic connector here, labeled optical, is what's used by a lot of devices. The Alesis ADAT systems used this very fiber optic format. In fact, this has actually been nicknamed by most people. They refer to this as ADAT light pipe. And ADAT light pipe is just another way of referring to fiber optic connections here, which uh, carry eight channels of digital audio each. So there's uh, channels nine through 16. And then finally, channels 17 and 18 are through the SPDIF input. SPDIF are these RCA connectors right here. And all this is selectable within the software as to which inputs you're using for recording on which channels. So that gives you 18 total inputs, four that are microphone level or line level, four that are strictly line level but selectable between plus four and minus 10, eight that are eight at optical, and two that are uh, two inputs that are SPDIF, so stereo input. Thank <laughs> you.